All right, welcome to the building app in under an hour in reality um, episode, uh, well, series. Uh, I'm going to split this into several parts. Um, the parts are going to be parts are going to be beginning the application, um, how to integrate with Interface Builder and doing the design in Interface Builder, um, authenticating with Twitter what we do when we first load the app um, to load in the tweets, um, what happens when you press the button to load the next tweet, um, loading the profile image using AF Motion and AF Networking, and handling the errors when there's no internet or no accounts. Um, this is going to be a fairly quick and fast-paced series. Um, I'm not going to show... Uh, any. If you don't uh, know any of the... APIs um, or classes that you see, uh, you can usually just Google them. Um, but I'll link to everything I use that I can think of in the show notes. Uh, all right, let's get started. So we start off with generating the project. Um, that generates our boilerplate code. I'm not going to do much explanation into these low-level things, I'm only going to focus on the more complicated stuff for explanation. Um, we'll go into the directory and we will open Sublime. Um, so we have Sublime open now. And now we're going to just watch the specs fail for the first time, and boom. Alright, so let's make the specs pass. We head back to the Sublime, uh, we will open up the app delegate, and we will create our window. This is fairly boilerplate code. Um, you'll use this in almost any application. And then if we run our specs again, we can see we're all passing. All right, so next we'll be making sure that we have a key window. So we'll open up the not that one. We'll open up the main spec. It has a key window. Um, this is just grabbing the first window and checking this attribute on it, um, which should be true. So we'll go back to our specs and run them again. Great, we have a failing spec again. So let's make that one pass. Um, oops. And back to our specs. Awesome. So there's both our um, both of our specs working. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, install of our, all of our wrappers. So the wrappers we're going to use in this uh, th this application will be int uh, IB, which is an Interface Builder Integration uh, Wrapper, um, AF Motion, which will, also, will also use uh, Motion Cocoa, uh, mo Motion Cocoa Pods, um, and so we'll take a quick look at setting up pods. Um, and it's also going to use bubble wrap for just a few bits and pieces, um, namely the JSON converting. So we'll open up our gem file and add our dependencies. Um, first off is IB, then we have AF motion, then we have bubble wrap. All right, so we'll head back to our terminal. 
um, and we'll run bundle. Great. So um, next we're going to go back and we're going to open up our rake file and add our AF motion pod. Uh, AF networking pod. Um, now, the first time that we uh, that you use pods, you may have to run this command after you've gotten it installed. Um, that will run for a while. I'm not going to run that now. Um, that's going to download the master repository. It can take a fair while. Um, the next thing we're going to do is run rake pod update great so that's um, our setup completed uh, I'll quickly run rake spec again just to make sure everything's still working <coughs> 